So coming on to intestinal resection and anastomosis, there are certain things we need to keep in mind. Here is a loop of small bowel, which apparently is diseased, and we need to resect and anastomose it. As you can see, we will mark our disease segment on the intestine and consider it for a section. The intestine is attached to a mason tree with its blood supply. Considering this as a vascular supply and a vascular arcade, there are certain basic principles we need to keep in mind. Firstly, we need to identify which segment of the ball we are going to cut. We have marked the segment on the intestine that we are going to resect. Now the first thing that we need to make sure is that the devascularization of the needed segment is carried out. So here, what we are doing is creating rents into the masonry into the avascular planes. Now these parts will be held with two artery forceps. Now we will cut the segment. The ends need to be tied with a surgical suture so that hemostasis is achieved and bleeding is controlled. The assistant will remove the artery forcep so that we get a good approximation. Similarly, we will repeat this for all the procedures. We can see the structure shrinking and arricate blood vessels are ligated. So we have devascularized this segment of the bowel and now we can cut the disease segment of the bowel. So here we have cut this segment of the bowel. So there is a defect in the continuity of the bowel and defect in the masonry. There are certain principles that we need to follow is that we have to identify which is the mesentric border and which is the anti-mesentric border because the suturing principles will involve these two ends. After suturing the bowel or anastomosis of the bowel, we need to make sure that we are closing the rent in the masonry as well. This is an important part otherwise it could lead to the herniation of the ball. Third thing you need to make sure is that there is adequate bleeding from the cut ends of the ball. This is important because in many cases what happens is that the blood supply to the cut ends is damaged while cutting the intestine, creating an avascular segment which will not heal properly and probably give you a leak after anastomosis. So now, we will start with the basic principles of anastomosis.